What up, people? This is Beats and Tech, episode number five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. And uh, I'm Man at Arms, and this one I'm going to be talking about backups. Backup, backup, backup. Um, people, this is for you content creators, music producers, uh, graphic artists, anybody who uses their computer to create digital content, digital media, what have you. You need to back your stuff up. I can't stress this uh, enough. I say this to all of y'all out there because I'm sure at one point in your journey, using a computer, not even as a content creator, but even as just a regular person, you've lost your stuff due to a computer crash or a virus or even had your device stolen. My suggestion to you, should I say, is to back your stuff up. I don't care if it's using old school USB flash drive Oops. Um, use one of those USB flash drive easy to find pretty cheap media is kind of cheap nowadays anyway Stor storage is cheap I say get you one of those simplistic but effective maybe get you a couple of them back up your stuff two or three times um, I would say you want to go big Get you one of these. This would be a USB 2.0 uh, external hard drive. Preferably solid state drive SSD. If you get one, they're a lot faster. Um, USB 2.0, 3.0. Get you one of these. I believe this one was a, a four terabyte drive. Very cheap nowadays. I don't have an exact price, but I know they're not expensive as they were. Um, that's another thing that you can get to back up your stuff. Um, how about Google Drive? Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox. Um, what's another one? Box.com. I don't know if people still use that or not. But all of them offer free plans. Google Drive offers, I think it's a free, what, for your first 15 gigabytes of storage space. Get that, download it to your computer, put it on your phone and do the uh, Google Drive sync to the cloud. You can at least have a backup there. They offer that, they offer uh, in terms of storage space, I believe up to like, I don't know how many, what's the max terabyte? I have like two, two terabyte accounts for like $9.99 a piece. And that's only because I, ha I have music in one and personal stuff in another, in another so, um, Kind of, kind of keep those separate just a little bit. That's just me. So those are what three methods. So you have your your flash drive, your USB external drive, um, the cloud. You can also use what they call a NAS device or network attached storage. Uh, I'll show you some way. Newegg.com. If, if you're not familiar with that, it's a place that sells all computer related stuff, and they have a variety of deals, a variety of different brands. That's a place where you can get stuff pretty cheap. They ship pretty quick, pretty quick. And I've been using that for years. Give me a quick second. I'll pull it up. Yeah. This is what a NAS, NAS device is. I mean, they're this one, that's a Synology. They're different brands. You have Western Digital, TerraMaster, never even heard of them, but apparently they're pretty good. I personally use QNAP because that's what we use in my job. Western Digital, Digital Synology, QNAP. And there are a few other ones, but those are the two that, that I, are a few that I can think of off the top of my head. But yeah, basically, you put a couple hard drives in here. It'll make a what they call a mirror, a mirror image. One hard drive will basically back up the other hard drive. You can get them in a variety of different sizes, and it, what it does is you connect it by Ethernet cable to your, your home network or your business network, whatever you have, and. You can basically say, and this is kind of more for your advanced users. I have about three or four of them in my house because I have them backing up a variety of different things because I've learned my lesson because I've lost stuff. I think it was about three years ago and I had a hard drive crash in between backups. So I had actual backup software on my computer and I'll get into that later. Had backup software in my computer. Ran into an issue with the program because it filled up the drive and the drive wouldn't respond. So I had to delete some data off of the drive that it was working, that it was backing up to. When I did that, I experienced a hard drive crash. 
My backup was corrupted and therefore I couldn't restore my data. Luckily, I had backups on an external USB drive. I had stuff that I had purchased from different vendors online that I was able to re-download and I had a lot of my stuff backed up to the cloud via Google Drive. So that kind of saved me in that sense. But ever since then, I've learned my lesson and therefore I have backups of backups of backups of backups. Now going back to the NAS storage device, I'll log into mine right quick just so you can get an idea of what it actually is. I'm gonna log in here. Hopefully I get the password right. All right, I'm in. So what you'll see, it has a little interface. Um, it goes by IP address. This device has its own apps. As an app center, you can install different apps on here, productivity apps, backup apps, things that can kind of help you um, do things a lot easier and a lot quicker. It has its own firewall software. You can even ac access this drive or this uh, NAS device externally if you want to, meaning that you can put an app on your phone, you can go to work, you can even travel out of town and have access to this device. You can set up multiple users on this device. I'll even show you that. Let me go here, it says users. I got a super admin account. I got the default admin account disabled because somebody tried to hack it a long time ago. So, and haven't had any problems since then. Um, so yeah, you can create multiple users, user accounts. So if you got a team member, somebody that you want to work with that may just need to get access to something that you only want to have internally, you don't want it in the cloud, but you want to have it on your own personal cloud. You can store it there. You might have a family member that you wanted to have something to, but more times than not, I just use this personally just for like internal network storage. Um, for instance, I have like some movies or something on one of these devices and I have a program that it shares the, the movies out. So like home movies or movies that you like rip from DVDs or something like that. And I have it on one of these uh, NAS devices, not this one though. Oh, uh, but yeah, it has um, backup software that you can install. I believe it's this one, I don't have it installed, but it's made to interact with other um, backup software. So like if you wanted to back it up to uh, Microsoft Azure Backup or, or Microsoft Azure Cloud, you can connect it to Google Drive, you can connect, connect it to OneDrive, um, just a bunch of different cloud sources that you can actually connect this device to. For instance, I use this, I have a server in my basement that I use this for or use this with. And on my server, I have some other documents that I've scanned in like family history related stuff. And I don't ha necessarily have it in the cloud, but with this device, I have a program that runs on the server that syncs to the device and the device sends it to the cloud, either or. But I have like a roundabout, so everything is constantly getting backed up and or shared. So in case I need something on the fly that's only in my house, I'm able to grab that device or access that device through the cloud and get that document that I need. I don't have everything in the cloud, but sometimes you, you do need certain things on the fly, depending on how you operate, depending on how you do business. Like I said, this is kind of more so for like your power users. And I don't know how many people will, will be even be interested in using something like this, but it definitely comes in handy. And it's definitely another way to actually have your, uh, your data backed up. Yeah, so with that being said, I just wanted to stress to you guys, back your stuff up. I hate to do the thing, but gotta have your stuff backed up people i've seen too many times where not having your things backed up has ended in tragedy and most people don't think about backups until it's time to actually think about them and you realize man i don't even have one and that's it and then you end up sometimes i've i've had to work with clients who've neglected having things backed up and they've lost their whole entire business I've worked with clients where they've had to actually spend thousands upon thousands of dollars to send their hard drive out to like a super clean, what they call a clean room, where they take the hard drive out and dissect the hard drive, take the pieces they got in the case and they got to wear gloves and body suits, masks and all this kind of stuff and find and, and use some kind of tool to actually extract the data from the hard drive and restore it to a new drive. So yeah, you don't want to be in that position. Trust me, people. Uh, in closing, I want to tell you all, 
back your stuff up anything that i may have mentioned specifically in this video i'll try to put links to some of those things some of those different backup solutions um in the description of the video just so you can check out some of those things on your own at your own leisure um i will put the link to new egg down there some people might not have heard of it before i've used new egg for years um it's like the amazon but for like computer parts <laughs> so you can get good deals from a variety of different places and a variety of different vendors and again they ship fast so again thank you for checking out my video appreciate you guys like and subscribe and see you next time man at arms beast of tech peace